Hello, my name is Veena Badasha, and I'm going to be your host and teacher today. As we watch Min and Gustavo, we will learn how to order at a restaurant and how to give and receive directions. Listen to these words during the lesson. Menu, noodles. Let's watch and listen. Hello. Would you like to eat in or take out? I would like to eat here, please. Are you eating alone? Yes. Follow me, please. Would you like a menu? Yes, please. I'll let you look over the menu for a moment. The noodles are on the house. On the house? Yes. That means for free. That we give them to you without a charge. Thank you, miss. Are you ready to order? Yes. I will have... I will have a soda, please. Would you like something to eat? No, thank you. Are you sure? The food here is very good. I should know. My cousins are the cooks. I only have enough money for a drink. I'll eat dinner later with my family. Well, okay. Maybe another time. I'll go get your soda. You look very thirsty. Hello again. Let's talk about what we just saw. Where is Gustavo? He is in a restaurant. What does Min ask him first? She asks him if he would like to eat in or take out. What does Min give Gustavo after he sits down? She gives him a menu. Does Gustavo pay for the noodles Min gives him? No. They're on the house. There is the same as they are. What does on the house mean? On the house means for free. Does Gustavo order any food? No, he doesn't. What does Gustavo order? He orders a soda. Now please listen and repeat the words that you hear and see. Restaurant. Restaurant. Menu. Menu. Noodles. Noodles. That was very good. Now we will watch as Min and Gustavo continue their conversation. Listen for these words. Pain. Straw. Back. Aspirin. Here's your soda. Thank you. Would you like a straw? No, thank you. My name is Min. If you need anything else, call me. Thank you, Min. Are you okay? 
Yes, I'm fine. Well, you look like you're in pain. The truth is, my back hurts. Can I get you some aspirin? I always carry some in my purse. Is that on the house too? Of course. Thank you. I'm Gustavo. Nice to meet you, Gustavo. I'll go get you some aspirin, and I'll be back in a second. Let's talk about what we just saw. Does Gustavo take the straw? No, he does not take it. Does Min say Gustavo looks like he's in pain? Yes, she does. What does Gustavo say is hurting him? He says his back is hurting him. Does Min offer aspirin to Gustavo? Yes, she does. That was excellent. Now listen, watch, and repeat the words after I say them. Pain. Pain. Straw. Straw. Back. Back. Aspirin. Aspirin. That was very good. Now let's watch and listen to more of Min and Gustavo's conversations. Listen for these words. Silverware. Napkin. What's that? It's a tray. I know that. But what is all this? It's called food. I told you. I, I know. I... But my cousin made too much food for the last customers. And if you don't eat it, he will throw it away. And you should eat a little when you take aspirin. Thank you. The food is best when it's hot. It smells delicious. Oh, you have no silverware. I'll have some with you. Can you eat while you work? My parents own this restaurant. One day they want me to own it. Mm. I wonder how Gustavo hurt his back. Do you think he will tell Min? Let's review what they said. What does Min bring Gustavo? She brings him food. What does she carry it on? She carries it on a tray. What is in the small bottle Min brings? Aspirin is in the small bottle. Does Min tell Gustavo he should eat a little food when he takes the aspirin? She does. Who makes the food? Min's cousins make the food. Can Min eat while she works? Yes, she can. Who owns the restaurant? Min's parents own the restaurant. That was great. I'll see you in a minute. I hurt my back at work last week. Did you tell your boss? Yes. This is very good. May I have a napkin? Thank you. What did your boss say about your back? Your cousins really made this? Gustavo, this is very important. What did your boss say? If you hurt your back at work, he should help you. 
He doesn't want to help me. He doesn't even want to talk to me. Did this happen today? No. And you didn't see him at work today? I didn't work for him today. I worked for a different person. You work for different people all the time? Yes. I wait for a new job each morning. You still need to tell him. He doesn't want to talk to me. How do you know? Because he wouldn't talk to me when I asked for my money. He didn't pay you for the job? Let's talk about what we just saw. Where was Gustavo when he hurt his back? Gustavo was at work. Did Gustavo's boss pay for the job? No, he didn't. Does Gustavo work for the same boss every day? No, he works for different people every day. Let's return to Min and Gustavo and hear what they're saying. Listen for these words. Clinic. Assistance. Let's watch and listen. First we take care of your back, then we'll get your money. It is nice of you to help me, but... You're welcome. But, men... I know a good place to go for your back pain. I don't have a lot of money to spend for a doctor. That's okay. I have friends who work at a clinic. A clinic? Yes. That's where they help you, for very little money, or for free. There are doctors there? Yes. And nurses. My friends are assistants to them. Assistants? Yes. Their job is to help the doctors and nurses. Can I go today? Yes. They're open until 7 o'clock. But you should go soon. I'll go right away. Are you still hungry? No. Thank you so much. The food was delicious. Can you tell me how to get to this clinic? Sure. Come with me. Hello again. Min is a very good friend to Gustavo. Let's review what they talked about. Does Min want Gustavo to take care of his back? Yes, she does. Does Min know a good place for Gustavo to go? Yes, she does. What is the place called? It's called a clinic. Will Gustavo have to pay a lot of money there? No, he won't. Won't is the same as will not. Who does Min know at the clinic? Min knows her friends. What do Min's friends do? They help the doctors and nurses. What are they called? They are called nursing assistants. Very good. I'll see you soon. You will go north on Alameda, about a half mile, turn right on California, go two blocks, turn left on Sunrise. Wait, please. I go to Alameda and... North on Alameda. Yes, north. And then I make a left on Sunshine? Sunrise. But that's after you turn on to California. Gustavo, I have an idea. What? I will take you to the clinic when I get off work. I don't want you to get lost. And I would like to see my friends who work there. Okay? Okay. If it is no trouble. 
No. Come back in one hour, and we'll go together. Okay. I'll see you in one hour. Does Min give Gustavo directions to the clinic? Yes, she does. Is Gustavo going alone? No, he isn't. Who is going with him? Min is going with him. When are they going? They are going after Min gets off work. That's very good work. Now let's join Min and Gustavo at the clinic. Does Min know a woman who works at the clinic? Can the doctors and nurses at the clinic help Gustavo? Listen carefully. Also, listen closely to these words. Forms. Certificates. Now let's watch and listen. How are you? I'm fine, Sally. How are you? Very well, thank you. This is my friend, Gustavo. Hello, Sally. Nice to meet you, Gustavo. Are you two here to visit me? I am, but Gustavo hurt his back while he was at work. Is his boss going to pay for a doctor? His boss didn't even pay him for the job. Gustavo, that's not fair. You have a right to get paid. That's what Min said. I'm going to help him, Sally. After you help him with his back. The doctors here are very good. I'm sure they can help him. But you have to wait a few minutes. You also need to fill out these forms. Forms? Yes, these just ask you information about yourself. Thank you, Sally. You're very welcome, Gustavo. Soon Min can be the person who helps you. But Min has helped me. I mean as a nurse's assistant. Sally! You're going to be a nurse's assistant? I will soon have a certificate. Like that. Min and I go to school together. Min, where have you applied for a job? I... I haven't applied anywhere. I haven't finished the program yet. Why not? Welcome back. Let's talk about what happened. Does Min know the woman who works at the clinic? Yes, she does. What is the woman's name? Her name is Sally. How does Min know Sally? They go to school together. Does Sally think Gustavo should be paid for his work? Yes, she does. Are the doctors at the clinic good or bad? They are good. Does Sally think the doctors can help Gustavo? Yes, she does. Can the doctors see Gustavo right away? No, they can't. Gustavo has to wait a few minutes. What does Min go to school for? She's going to become a nurse's assistant. Has Min applied for a job? She hasn't. Does Min tell Sally why she hasn't applied for a job? No, she doesn't. Let's review some vocabulary. Listen and repeat the words that you hear and see. Aspirin. Aspirin. Silverware. Silverware. Napkin. 
napkin, tray, tray, clinic, clinic, assistance, assistance, forms, forms, certificates, certificates. That was excellent. Now you will have time to practice the things we learned today. Watch Gustavo, Min, and Sally. You will have time to repeat what they say. If you need more time, just press the pause button. Now let's watch and listen. Would you like to eat in or take out? I would like to eat here, please. Would you like a menu? Yes, thank you. Are you ready to order? I would like a soda, please. Would you like something to eat? No, thank you. I only want to drink. I'll go get your soda. Are you okay? No, my back hurts. How did you hurt it? I hurt it when I was at work. Here's your food. Thank you. It smells delicious. I know a good clinic you can go to. Can you give me directions, please? That was very good. Now we're going to practice repeating other important questions and statements. After our friends speak, you will have time to repeat it. Listen carefully. I don't have very much money. Is the clinic expensive? Your boss should pay you for the job. I'm going to school to be a nurse's assistant. I hurt my arm. I need to see a doctor. My head hurts. Do you have any aspirin? I have to go to the store. Can you tell me how to get there? I would like to order a drink and some food, please. You need to fill out these forms before you see the doctor.
That was excellent. Now you will have a chance to order food from a waitress and to tell a doctor your problems. You will see a picture of the thing you want to ask for or talk to the doctor about. After a moment, you will see the person you should speak to. Watch an example. Excuse me, miss. I would like a soda. Doctor, my arm hurts. Can you help me? Now you try it. Remember, when you see the doctor, tell him what hurts. When you see a waitress, tell her what you want. Sometimes when we work, we have problems. For example, Gustavo was hurt at work. He was also never paid. Min and Sally think Gustavo was treated badly. When this tape is over, write these answers to the following questions on your worksheet or on a piece of paper. Do you think Gustavo was treated badly? Was Gustavo's boss fair or unfair? What would you do if you were Gustavo? Take your time writing your answers. Think carefully. And next time, we will learn what Gustavo will do and how he and his friend Min are getting along.